învăț să gătesc pentru copiii mei. E o mâncare potrivită pentru orice copil de la 6 luni în sus. E cu pește. E foarte bună. Veți vedea cum a fost gătită imediat. So, yes. next step for me? Fish. Fish. How many children grow up and don't like eating fish? Lots of them. Yes. Or the only fish they ever eat are fish fingers. So they think the fish look like fish fingers. They don't realize they have a head and a tail and face. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> It's true. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do our version of a homemade fish finger. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so you're going to help me. Yes. So you're going to hold this open. But I, but I should uh, uh, say something first. Yes. Uh, and I'm saying that. Uh, ce facem acum este destinat în continuare copiilor. Cărțile pe care le vedeți aici sunt gândite de către Anabel special pentru a ajuta pe părinți, așa cum sunt și eu și cum sunteți și voi, să gătească mult mai ușor o grămadă de lucruri. Peștele este foarte important în alimentația copilului și lipsește de cele mai multe ori pentru că, pentru că nu avem un motiv neapărat pentru așa ceva. Ca atare astăzi, special vom găti cu pește pentru a vedea că este foarte ușor și foarte la mână să gătești cu pește. Great. I told them actually the same thing with him. That's great. Okay, okay. Cool. So. so. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some cornflakes, okay. which is a bit odd because normally you'd have those for breakfast. Okay. But we're going to make them into fish fingers in a minute. Okay. So you hold that open. Yes. Pop this in here. Perfect. Okay. And then you want to seal. But this is why kids can help seal it. Yeah. Like, I'm a, like this. I'm like a kid. Okay. Okay, like that. Perfect. Okay. And then you take a rolling pin. This is the fun bit. Mm -hmm. And you crush them. I thought, oh, I thought, oh, I thought you might like doing this. Have a go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. So this is where kids come in, because kids will love doing this. Look at me, I love it. <laughs> you can take out all your aggression, all your anger, crushing your cornflakes. So they have to be very, very calm? Yeah. Really, really quite like a powder. This is actually really good. So let's say you have a gluten allergy and you can't have breadcrumbs, you can use cornflakes. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, so it's That's quite good. Really good yeah. Idea. How are you doing there? It's good. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's looking good right now. Okay. We take the bag, if you can hold it open again. We're going to add to that. Okay. This is um, grated parmesan. Uh-huh, parmesan. Yeah. Okay. And a little bit of paprika. Paprika. What do you call paprika? Paprika. The same, same thing. Yeah. A bit of that. Okay, and you can shake it. No need to translate that. No need. Good. Give it a good shake. That's good. And then you're going to pour that onto a plate here. It's good. You're a natural. Uh, you are very kind. <laughs> And do you cook for your kids? I'm trying to, yes? but uh, my wife is much better cook than I am, so I'm letting her to do... I'm with the play, I'm with the sports, Okay. I'm with the uh, homework. I prefer to do that because uh, it's good to... But it, it's quite fun cooking with kids, so I'll really enjoy making this with you. Okay, so we've got a plate, which is your... Fresh cornflakes, parmesan, Perfect. and your paprika. Then we're going to have another plate here, which is just flour. So if you have a gluten allergy, you can use the gluten-free flour. Okay. So we can just put ordinary flour here. Just put gluten on top of Okay. 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 Perfect. Then I'm going to crack an egg. Okay. Again, like kids, they love doing this. Yeah. It doesn't, oh my doesn't always end up in the bowl, though. Yeah, that's <laughs> trying to say. Okay. That's cool. Actually, I'm going to probably put it in a slightly bigger bowl. Okay. And do you want to whisk it? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so this is, this is my assembly line. Okay. okay. So this is like a factory now. So I've got my fish, which I've cut into strips. This is sole. So, okay. Yeah. 
I cut it into strips. I had it filleted. You don't have to take the skin off. You can just buy it like that. Uh -huh. okay. And you cut it up. That's good. You've done it now. Finished. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, you're, if you're okay. I'm very, it's really good. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect beef and egg. Okay. So now what you do is, I'll do the first one and then you can copy me. Okay, so, perfect. So. Okay. So I put it in the flour like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then I just mm -hmm. cut off the excess. Dip it in here. Okay. Strip off. And then I put it into my cornflakes. There you go. There you are. Okay? Yeah. So again, like this is fun for kids to do. Then in the egg. And I'll do one more little now. So good. That is so good. So the good thing about fish is that it's really quick to cook. It only takes a couple of minutes to cook these. It's really simple. And I think that my kids don't eat enough fish. So if you can find a tasty way of making fish, it's really good for them. Fish is good for the brain. That's why you want the chicken to be clever. There you go. So you can do the same thing with yeah. chicken. So you can make your own chicken nuggets. Ah, oh, chicken nuggets. Yeah, so you just do the same thing. You dip them in the flour, then my the egg, and then this. Chicken nuggets. But you can make them at home. And also you can get her to make them with you, which is great. Perfect, so while you do that, I'm gonna yeah. heat up some oil in my pan. Perfect. Let's do uh, the different things. Right. So from what I can see, it's, in, uh, uh, it's not an expensive recipe, actually. No, it's no. good. And it's what I call my healthy junk food. Yeah. So, you know, like lots of kids, they only want to eat burgers, fish fingers, mm -hmm. chicken nuggets, pizzas. So, what you do is you make your own, but more healthy. So, this is a way of making fish, where you know it's good quality fish. And with hamburgers, you can make your own using lean minced meat, and you can put apple in them, and onions, and red pepper. And with pizzas, you can use pita bread, or you can even make a... I make a base for pizza, which is made out of cauliflower, so they're eating okay. lots of vegetables. Oh. And for ice lollies, you can just puree like fresh fruit and you can put it into an ice lolly mold and freeze it. So for kids who are really fussy and really difficult, it looks like the kind of junk food that you might buy, hmm. but actually it's good for them. So that's quite a good transition. And you're very good at this. You're doing a really good job. Uh. Again, you are very kind. I'm trying to not. It's to all very me. nicely lined up. Yeah, my father is a general, <laughs> military general, so. Is it? They should but he be might be a graphic up. designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be lined up. <laughs> Tension. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, you are heating up the oil right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm heating the oil. Special oil? This is sunflower oil. Sunflower mm -hmm. oil. So. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to make it look really interesting. You'll see in a minute how we how we present it to the child. So it looks fun. I think we were saying before, like the way it looks makes a big difference as to whether the child will eat it or not. So sometimes when they come home from school, like you might have fruit in a fruit bowl, okay. but they won't touch it. Here, I need do, to, do you want to wipe your hands? Yeah. I know it's really messy. <laughs> it's fun actually. You're, it's you're fun, right. but it is messy. So yeah, so they have fruit in a fruit bowl on a table, but they won't touch it. But if you put pieces of fruit onto a straw or a skewer in bite-sized pieces, they'll eat it. So it makes all the difference. I'm going to take these now. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly. Thank you. you what go. can I say? You can say, you can just take the compliment. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> no. You can tell your wife that she doesn't need to cook anymore because oh. you're taking over. I think that we are uh, coming to a very good understanding of <laughs> what everybody should do in our family. Okay. So I'm going to leave that to her, actually. But I'm loving this. Good. I have to say, so... Okay, there we go. You're kind of uh, very fun. And I it's fun, isn't it? I mean, cooking is fun. I mean, kids always. love it. And sometimes, like, mums don't want kids in the kitchen. They think it's dangerous. But no. actually, it's a life skill. If you don't learn to cook, you're not going to eat healthy food. I discovered that it's very important to, to let your kid into your life. 
in all aspects of your life. They like doing what adults do. Yeah. They yeah. want to be part of your world. Yeah. It's like sometimes, you know, you give them a present and they're more interested in the box. <laughs> it's funny right. that, isn't it? Yeah. I had cooking parties. So I had a birthday party where there was no food on the table and the children would make their own food for the birthday party okay. in pairs. Everything was like laid out. They made things like cupcakes and they'd even make the cake. And it was one of the best parties I ever had because they want to be interactive. And the thing about children now is that they sit in front of a screen and watch like videos or they're on their computer and you want to get them out talking to them, being with them, doing things they love. You take uh, it. When, when they're in. Nice and messy. And they love it because it's messy. <laughs> the more messy it is, the more they love it. So my son's a good cook. Really? Yeah. So he's now 20, because I started writing my books like quite some time ago. And it's really popular with the girlfriends, because he cooks for them, and they love that. So it's a good skill to have. I suppose that being a good cook can be a very good way to, to be liked by girls. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to teach my son to do that. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> How old is he? Two years old? Oh yeah, we can, you know what? I, even I at, start early, yeah, even at two they can do things. They can mash, they can roll out dough, they can cut out shapes. There's many things they can do at a very young age. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you have Play-Doh here? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I make like gingerbread men. It's like working with Play-Doh, but at the end they can actually cut them out, bake them, and then decorate them. They love it, and at Christmas time, you can even hang them on the Christmas tree, make a little hole, you put a ribbon around it, and they've made something from the tree, it's so nice. Yeah, we did that actually last year, last Christmas. My daughter has a huge box of Play-Doh and... Ah, it food was is... messy after all. <laughs> but food is like Play-Doh, it's like edible Play-Doh. So it's almost done, I'm just turning them over, because literally they'll be, they'll be done in like a minute. Yeah, 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 I can see, it's very quick. Very, very quick, very yeah. easy. I'm not going to show this to my wife because she's going to make me cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. We'll keep it a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody's going to see this. <laughs> we won't tell anyone. Right. Now, we're kind of done. Okay. So what I'm going to do is clear the mess away. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to make it look really fun for kids so they're going to be able to resist it. So, what was it? Less than 20 minutes? Less than 20 minutes, and well, you made it really. I just helped a bit. Thank you very much. That's okay. <laughs> Go cook. <laughs> so, what we are seeing here is healthy food, uh, easy to make, even for men, with none and so ever skills of doing. Oh, I wouldn't say that. And cooking. Uh, it, it, it wasn't about me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pofta mare. What does that mean? Bon appetit. Oh, bon appetit. Yeah, well, we made it into a face. And that is the secret yeah, to like getting your child to try it. Yeah, it's always happy. It is like you. Yeah. <laughs>